Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows multiple fetal anomalies, including encephalocele, cleft lips, oligoadromnias, urinary obstruction, and missing fetal movements. You can see the placenta is posteriorly attached, the slightly right lateral. Now you can see the fetal head. A large encephalocele seal is seen attached to the fetal head and this encephalocele, seal, this is the encephalocele, seal and encephalocele seal may be seen as a purely cystic mass or may contain echoes from the herniated brain tissue. If the mass appears cystic, the meningocele component predominates while a solid mass indicates predominantly an encephalocele, larger encephalocele's may show accompanying microcephaly. Fetuses with an encephalocele are likely to die before birth. Approximately 21% or 1 in 5 are born alive. Of those born alive, only 50% will survive. Now you can see the fetal cardiac activity, which looks to be comeco normal. Encaplosine is treated with surgery to place the protruding parts of brain and the membranes covering it back into the skull and close the opening in the skull. However, neurological problems caused by the encephalocele will still be present. Long-term treatment depends on the children's condition. Now you can see the spines. Looks good to be okay. There may be some errors or omissions in this video and viewers are welcome to comment or correct me now again you can see the placenta and the large encephalocele now you can see the, the urinary bladder is dilated. Due to the urinary obstruction and oligodromnias is also visible. Cleft lip may be detected in this case. You can see the lips of the fetus, lips, nose, eyes, the face of the fetus. And now you can see clearly the cleft lip is seen. Now these, this is, these are lips. Cleft lip may be detected with ultrasound beginning around 13 weeks of pregnancy. As the fetus continues developing, it may be easier to accurately diagnose a cleft lip. Cleft lip that occurs alone is more difficult to see using ultrasonography. Most cleft lip problems can either be picked up at the routine 20 weeks scan or soon after birth. These are the nostrils. However, a submucous cleft, which where the cleft is hidden in the lining of the roof of the mouth, may not be detected for months or even years.
Now you can see both the femur of the pitus and throughout the video you must have noticed the amniotic fluid is grossly decreased that is oligodromias. Oligodromias refers to amniotic fluid volume that is less than expected for gestational age. It is typically diagnosed by ultrasound examination and may be described qualitatively that is reduced amniotic fluid volume or quantitatively that is amniotic fluid index equal to or less than 5 cm, single deepest pocket less than 2 cm. You can see the keyhole sign of this urinary bladder, the urinary obstruction of the fetus. This is very typical, the keyhole sign of urinary bladder obstruction, posterior Now, coming back to the oligodromias, uh, babies who develop oligodromias after 23 to 24 weeks usually have adequate lung development and an excellent and, uh, prognosis de depending on when the pregnancy, when in pregnancy they are delivered. Now you can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.